hey guys welcome back and today i'm going to show you how to install ubuntu using usb if you follow this video properly you are not gonna have any problem and you will not lose any data and here i'm gonna show you every step so you can install it easily so let's start Here we are going to use power as well to make bootable USB so you can use Windows or Ubuntu because power as well is also available for Ubuntu. So I have to download uh, power as well first. Here I got uh, power as well 64 bit as I go using 64 bit as I am using 64 bit. So first of all you have to install that power as well. So that's it so after installing power iso you have to enter your usb and format that you select fat or ntvs whatever you like and format that and after formatting your usb you have to download ubuntu what version you like here i'm gonna use 17.04 but this video is not only for 17.04 because the procedures is also same for any other release so you can follow this video if you are interested to install other release like ubuntu 16 or 14 whatever you like so after downloading your ubuntu you have to open it with our iso you have to enter your pen drive and after entering your pen drive you have to open it with power iso and after that select tools and select create bootable usb drive then hit ok and continue under start you have to wait for a second and after that you have to select your usb then start and then ok it may took 30 or 10 minutes 10 to 30 minutes And after creating a bootable USB, just hit OK and you can see your uh, drive USB here. And after that, you have to enter your USB drive and restart your PC. Then you will see something like that. If your PC don't boot from your pen drive, then you have to change your BIOS settings so open your bios it is different the procedure of uh, op opening your bios it's different from pc to pc so so find out a way to get into the bios and select boot and from there uh, make your boot priority usb as boot first boot priority this bus can be different from your bios but you have to find out a way and you have to make a, your usb as first boot priority so after changing your bias settings your pc will boot from your usb so if your pc normally boot from your usb you don't have to change your bias settings so from there you have to select try ubuntu i'm saying again select english and select try ubuntu and connect to your internet if you don't have internet don't worry you don't it's not important and as we from here you can explore your uh, pc nothing is gonna happening if you don't install ubuntu as we're gonna install ubuntu we're gonna hit that button name install ubuntu so after that you'll see something like that and you have to select continue button and make sure you select both of these download and updates and install third party software and hit continue and from here is the most important thing to not select first any of these first from first thing. you have to select something else make sure you select something else if you select erase ubuntu that will format your whole hard drive so don't select erase disk or another thing just select something else 
okay then select continue and here we have only one drive if I select this uh, drive and uh, hit minus button it's it will delete delete my drive if you have more one more, more than one drive you will see they are here more than one drive so the drive where you uh, wanted to install your ubuntu you can select that and hit minus button for making a free space so we are gonna delete that so we're gonna select our drive and hit minus button so here we have 13 gb and now i'm gonna show you how to make a partition say i wanna make a 1 mb drive i'm using a virtual drive machine so i don't have much space here i'm just showing 1 mb how to do that so here we have 1 mb drive if i want to another drive just hit plus button and select 2 then select ext4 and mount option keep it blank and hit ok so here we have another drive so now we're gonna do something what we need to do for installing our ubuntu so select that free space and hit plus icon and we have to now we have to make swap area we're gonna uh, make 2 gb swap area what means uh, 2048 mb select primary select beginning and use as swap area so let me tell you one thing that if you have uh, more than 8 gb ram and if you uh, have more than 8 gb RAM, you don't have to make swap area because so you will need swap area when you don't have any space on your RAM so if you have uh, 8 GB or more than 4 GB if you have more than 4 GB RAM then don't make swap area and another thing I should say that if you have a SSD and if you have also a normal hard drive then make sure you create that swap area from hard drive not from SSD Got because uh, I heard a swap area can harm your SSD so if you got no option but SSD and if you have less than uh, 4GB RAM then you have no option but SSD so you have to make swap area from SSD and then you can uh, make swap area 1GB or 2GB try to use less space in swap area so that's it so let's go ahead so if you want to have to make a swap area you have to select give space then select these and hit ok and after that select free space again and here we're gonna install our ubuntu uh, say i don't need this I don't need this drive 1 MB drive so I'm gonna delete that and um, with this uh, I got more space here so just uh, select free space and plus icon again and select primary and select from beginning and use as ext4 journalizing file system and from my mount point select forward slash from man mount point select forward slash and hit ok so we're gonna install that ubuntu in here sda1 ext4 11 gb and we're gonna format that drive if you select the format option then it will format your uh, drive so um, from device from for bootloader installation select your full hard drive location okay from device from loader installation select your full hard drive location and then hit install now and hit continue and hit continue again one thing i should tell you do not touch any other drive what you don't want to form it so you should 
be careful with that so from here you have to select your area and hit continue and choose your keyboard layout i'm going to select english us and hit continue and after that you have to give your name your computer name begin username password and hit continue and after that your installation will start and after installing uh, after installing your ubuntu you have to restart your pc so hit restart button um that's it our installation is complete we have ubuntu 17.04 now i'm going to show you how to format your bootable usb so you have to in uh, open power iso and enter your usb then from there select tools and hit clean usb drive and then you have to se select ok and continue without register and there from there you have to select your usb and hit clean usb drive and hit ok and after cleaning your usb you now you can format your usb so just format hit format button and select ntfs or fat and then start and ok so now you can see we can uh, our format is complete now we can use our usb again so that's it that's it for today thank you guys thank you for watching if you got any question you can leave a comment below i'll try to answer you and if you like that video don't forget to hit like button and subscribe us for getting our next videos because soon we're coming with another video